Apua House by Aoki Arquitetera in essay with Tildo José dos Campos, Brazil. The lot in one of the highest points of the condominium was the key point for the decision-making of the Apui House Party. The steep slope in front of the lot created a large plateau 6M above street level. The architectural project was developed based on three essential premises, ensuring privileged views, preserving the largest possible area for gardens and lawns, as well as minimizing earth movement to preserve the integrity of the original terrain profile. We defined the plateau as the reference point, creating in it the main floor of the residence. This choice allowed us to fully meet the needs of the proposed program while guaranteeing the maximization of the available garden area. In this way, we opted to make a single intervention in the terrain, resulting in the creation of a basement just below the plateau level, which was intended to house the technical areas and garage. On the main plateau, a large rectangular plan extends beyond the natural profile creating a large overhang over the slope of the basement, harmonizing with the surroundings and offering a visual connection with the surrounding landscape. To provide excellent sunlight and unobstructed views for all bedrooms, a subtle rotation on the upper floor solved the issue, ensuring that they could enjoy a favorable solar orientation while contemplating an uninterrupted panoramic view of the city. In the basement, there is the garage, a technical area for equipment and machinery rooms, a storage room, and an access hall that connects all floors. Access for those arriving through the garage is through the basement hall. As residents enter they are enveloped in a serene and welcoming atmosphere, crossing a walkway over a water mirror to reach the staircase that gives access to the ground floor. Those arriving from the sidewalk are invited to access the residence through a winding path through the access gardens, seeking to give these users the same feeling of disconnection and immersion in a new atmosphere. On the ground floor, the project unfolds in an integrated and inviting environment, surrounded by generous glass planes. The main volume is revealed in three smaller volumes for external observers. The first volume is delimited by a black wall with large glass openings, while two metal-clad cubes complement the composition. In the first volume are the living and dining rooms, carefully designed to maximize space and foster interaction between residents and the external area and surroundings, making the most of the views provided by the terrain. In the second block are the toilet, pantry, and kitchen which share the same gray metallic cladding as the closed volumes of the ground floor, creating a sensation of continuity and integration. A special highlight of the kitchen is that it can be integrated or separated from the living and dining areas through a large sliding window. In the void that separates the two metal blocks, we have the laundry room, and finally in the second metal block are the TV room and the office. The leisure area was designed to promote integration and connection with the other areas of the ground floor. Divided into two sectors, the first area houses a gourmet space, located under the projection of the upper floor, and in the second area are the deck and pool. On the upper floor is the intimate area of the residence, completely covered by a wooden breeze. This large block is broken by the volume that houses the suite openings, following a rhythm of fullness and emptiness. In it are three smaller suites, in addition to the master suite with a large closet, bathroom, and a green balcony. Still, on the upper floor, there is a common balcony that offers a breathtaking view of the sunset, creating a perfect environment for moments of contemplation and tranquility.